Nathan Cox, thanks for joining us around the home. Well, today we're gonna to do something that's very simple, but so necessary for your home maintenance. Changing your air filter, okay? The air filter catches all, all the dust and it works every time you run your air conditioner or your heater. And if you let them clog way up, you're gonna do two things. One, you're gonna increase your utility bill because it's gonna make the system work harder to circulate that air to either heat or cool your house. And two, if it starts working really hard, you're gonna burn up your blower motor and then you're gonna have some serious maintenance costs to repair that. So simple, so let's, we got our grate right here. Now some air filters are actually in the heater unit, you know, you gotta actually open it up and then maybe like in a V, you know, most of the time they're in a V this, you know, a V like this. Um, most of the time they're not like in an A, but we're, we're in the cold air return grate or the air return, however you wanna call it. So most of them just have two tabs, which you're gonna fold out. And do be standing on something semi-sturdy, okay? Uh, little chairs like that. I don't want anyone falling over change, changing their air filter. Okay, so first part, that's super easy. All right, let me show you this. It's a little overdue. All right, so this is one I just pulled out. Now it's not caked with like hair, dust bunnies and stuff on it, uh, but that's what a new one looks like, so. There is a good coating of dust on this and it's time to get rid of it. So I know some of you are wondering, uh, what's a good air filter to use? What do you recommend? What am I using? This is a basic paper pleated air filter. Okay, it's pleated because it has, you know, you can see the ridges there, which gives it more surface area, allows air to, to come through it easier and allows it to be able to collect more dust before it's clogged. Um, it lasts longer than like a flat filter. Your fiberglass filter, some people, I know some people in the, I run into, they say, well, I just buy the cheap fiberglass ones, those blue ones, they kind of look like, look like that, okay? And I don't recommend those at all. And even if you say, well, I change them every month on the dot. The problem is, is they just don't catch the dust well enough. So if you were to take the fiberglass one that was dirty, like this one is here, with the dust on top, give it some taps. You see, do you see anything? Nothing. If this was the fiberglass one, you'd see dust just sprinkling through here. And that's the problem with the fiberglass ones. I don't care if you change them every 30 days, they're just not good enough. All right, before we put it back in, actually it's a good time now to clean off the grate because we don't want the dust falling off of this to going right into our new clean filter. So I've got one of these little, you know, cordless vacs with a little dust brush on it. There we go. And we're just gonna suck it off. Now, if you don't have a vacuum with a good attachment to do that with, or it puts you in a really weird spot, you'd rather just take it outside with a, with a broom. Okay, most of these, where these hinges are, they're just, it's an, it's an open hinge. So if you just kind of lift up, give it a little bit of a wiggle, oops, and you can take this off and take it outside and take a broom to it or something like that. Works just, just as good. Okay. New filter. Filters should always have arrows on them showing you the way the air is flowing. So you got the arrow here and it's pointing. Obviously you want the arrow pointing up because the air is being sucked up into here. Okay. So get it in place. Close it up. Now the last question you guys might have is how often do you change your air filter? Well, these paper pleated ones are rated at 90 days, but that's just an average, okay? So that depends on one, how often are you running your heat and air? And two, how many people and pets do you have in your house and how dusty is it? If you've got a lot of pets, a lot of, a lot of pet hair and stuff like that, kids running around, the dust just happens, okay? So really just doing a visual inspection. I, I would put it on your calendar every two months to do a visual inspection, you know? You know, if you're living by yourself with no pets, you could probably go, you know, a fourth month. But if not, you know, if you got pets and kids, you might need to do it every two months. Just check it. Anyways, thanks so much for watching this video. I hope this made changing your air filter super easy um, and, and just something you think, I can tackle that. I'm gonna go tackle that. I will have Amazon links in the description down below for different air filters along with this uh, Warner bench. Yep, this Warner bench right here. It's great for standing on, doing anything, whether you're painting or having to change air filters, uh, especially with an eight foot ceiling, average person, it fits perfect and gives you a lot of good steady area to stand on. 
Please take a moment to share this video, subscribe to the channel, take a look at the website, so many more videos organized really, really well. You guys have a great one.